You're embarrassing yourself. That's probably why people wouldn't I don't want think to come so. to your show. You're right. embarrassing yourself. Gentlemen, you're a shame to the queer You know community. what? I'll tell you who's really embarrassing. <laughs> I'm them, not a member of the queer community, working here, working you hard. stupid sod. I tell you I'm who's not a <laughs> member of the queer community. The person who ultimately about, is genuinely community. embarrassing himself. But, it, but the entire thing, the LGBTQIA+, the fact that there's more and more people who are coming under this particular... Uh, no, it's not a real thing. It's bullshit. It's total horseshit. And I mean, I'm just one of the things that's very annoying in this era is that there are just these steaming piles of horse shit in front of us all. <laughs> and, and we're all meant to sort of shovel our way through them. I just don't have time. I and mean, I might pay somebody else to shovel the horse shit for me. But like, I just don't have time for this crap. I don't have time for people to keep adding letters to... I don't... Uh, my view has always been there's no such thing as a gay community anyway. And that's just the gays. Lesbians and gays don't get on famously, have very little in common. Uh, both are very suspicious of bisexuals, <laughs> have nothing to do with transgender. There is no bigger chasm in the world than gay men and asexuals. <laughs> <laughs> None. <laughs> Clearly, like the idea that in a bar, in a gay bar, like, you know, you'd be like, hey, you're hot, I'm asexual. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, do they have their own hookup apps where they don't meet? Um, <laughs> there's just nothing in common. It's an app that keeps you as far away from other people yeah. as possible. Yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. exactly. And uh, <laughs> keeps people's clothes on. Yeah. And, and then there's just, then there's one that's like uh, the, the queer one. Well, queer, as far as I can see, is only, I did a bit of this in Manners of Crowds, but it only means either, ooh, look at me, I'm fascinating. No, you're not. You, you dyed your hair purple, you're boring. Um, or it's, um, I'm straight, but I want a bit of the intersectional pie, so I'll go like, oh, I'm queer. There was a guy at Oxford who was teaching who said that, and he was just like, oh, oh, one of my students came over and said, it's so nice to see myself represented, you know, by a lecturer. Uh, and I think this guy, like, painted his nails or some <laughs> crap like that. And uh, he, he's a straight guy. He's married to a woman. Uh, you're talking about queer. And queer used to be an insult to gay people. It still is as a, an insult to gay people. And then it's appropriated by some straight guys and girls because they think it'll make them interesting. Find another way to be interesting. Um, it's, it's sort of grotesque. The, the, uh, the, uh, the alphabet people stuff doesn't really interest me. I just say, you know, get on with their lives. They've bored me enough, you know. But there's also the fact as well that, do you not... And I've spoken to quite a lot of gay men about this and they all mutter under their breaths that they actually find it profoundly irritating with the queer thing where they go, if you do blackface, that is seen mm -hmm. as the most heinous form of racism. Unless you're Justin Trudeau. Unless you're Justin Trudeau, in which case it's method. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but that being the case, if I come out and go, I'm queer, and mm -hmm. you know, I've never even had any form of sexual interaction with a man, that's fine. Yeah, queer face is fine. Yeah, it was like, it's like woman face, it's fine. Yeah. You can pretend to be a woman and it's not insulting to women. You know, I don't agree, I think it's very insulting. But uh, I can't spend any more of my life being upset by morons. Yeah. Just uh, particularly attention-seeking morons. Look at me, look at me. Yeah, I've got other things to do. There's books I haven't read. <laughs>